Yes, guys. I'm here. Um, I just realised I didn't plug my mic in for like the first four minutes, but I think it fixes um a bit later. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I will be bringing you my World Cup 26 man England squad. Um, so yeah, should we get into it? Uh, Southgate is announcing his squad tomorrow. Um, at I think it's 1 p.m. Uh, British time. Um. So yeah, I think we sh we should get into this. Um, goalkeeper. I've actually only gone with two goalkeepers because it's the World Cup. I honestly don't think you need three goalkeepers. And you know what? If Pickford gets injured, he gets injured. You know what? We can bring Ramsdale on because I have Pickford and Ramsdale as my two goalkeepers to bring to the 2022 Qatar World Cup. Um, so yeah, I just think three goalkeepers. I think it's a bit over the top. Pickford will not get injured. And you know what, if he gets injured, you, I've just jinxed it, and that'll be annoying. But anyway, I think it'll be fine. Um, and even then, do, will R Ramsdale get injured if Pickford gets injured? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, uh, those are my two goalkeepers, Pickford and Ramsdale. I think Pickford should start. Um, right backs, I have gone Trent and Ben White. Um, yeah, obviously we have a bit of a... Uh, like, how do I say it? Dilemma right now. Um, with the right backs, James is out and Walker is a possibility. So I've gone Trent and Ben White as my right backs. Trent gets criticised too much as a Liverpool fan. I, I'm at, in a way, I get disgusted in the way how much he gets criticised. You know what? He gets one mistake. So what? Everyone makes mistakes. He's not Harland. He's not a robot. He is not perfect. Um. I've gone as because I think Southgate will play a five back. Like to be honest, he is Gareth Southgate. Um, so my right centre backs are Walker and Joe Gomez. I have picked Walker because say he's he might not be fit for the group stage, but he could be fit for say the round of sixteen or the quarterfinals if we get there. Um, and he could be very crucial in the latter stages with his experience and just sheer class as a football player and a defender. Um, my other centre backs, uh, I'll li list you my other four. Um, here's a spoiler, I haven't included Harry Maguire. Um, so I've gone, um, Burn, that might be a surprise to you, and John Stones. Um, so yeah, that is really it. Um, that is, wait, one second, I'm going to so yeah, sorry, I think my mic wasn't plugged in there. So I've gone uh, Burn and John Stones. Burn has just been amazing for Newcastle this season. And John Stones is just an amazing centre-back. And I think that's the reason he plays for Man City. Um, so yeah, those are my two. And then my other centre-backs are Fikayo Tomori. I, I don't even want to have this debate. He is in this England squad. And this could be a controversial one. Eric Dyer. Um, even the Spurs fans aren't really backing him to be in this England squad after his mistake um, on Sunday against Liverpool, which cost um, them a goal and potentially two points. Um, so, yeah, that that's Tamori and Eric Dyer. Um Tell me if you think Dyer should be in this squad down below, and if not, who um, should replace him? Uh, my left backs are, are uh, Luke Shaw and Kieran Trippier. Uh, so yeah, uh, Trippier has to be in the squad. Set pieces, great players, done it before. He did it in the 2018 World Cup, scored that amazing free kick against Croatia. Um, so yeah. Uh, Luke Shaw, he obviously scored it in the Euros final against Italy. Um, but yeah, I think he should just be in it. He is a great uh, left back for England. Um, he hasn't been too good for Man U this season. Um, but yeah, I think those those should be our left backs. Um, the midfielders, I have list. I will list my two centre mids and my two. I don't know, I have five centre mids and two cams. So I have Declan Rice, I have James Madison. I have Jordan Henderson, I have Bellingham, and I have Phillips. I'm not sure if Phillips will be fit, and if he's not fit, I will take James Ward-Prowse to this World Cup. It was hard to miss out 
uh, James will practice on this current squad, but I think Phillips won't be fit. So I will include James Ward Prowse if Phillips is not fit. My cams, I think this could be a controversial one. I have picked Mason Mount and Harvey Elliott. See, you might be going, Oh, you're a Liverpool fan, you're being Myers. <laughs> Harvey Elliott has the energy, the pace, the creativity. I think he could be really special in the future. Um He's been good uh, at the start of last season before he got that really sad injury against Leeds uh, with the dislocated ankle. And this season, I'd say he's actually been pretty decent. Um, so I think if if Southgate just wants someone to come on, be explosive, have energy, say we go to extra time in a, a knockout round, I think Harvey Elliott could be the player to just bring some energy to the squad. Uh, so yeah, uh, Mason Mount obviously he's, he yeah, he hasn't been too good for England actually, but I think he should be in the England squad. Uh, he's he's been he's actually started to pick up some form for Chelsea recently, and I can just imagine like it's the quarterfinals against some like average team, maybe like a Colombia, and just Mount steps up for the free kick. Trippy has gone, Mace, you can take this. Mount just hits that top corner. Everyone will be going crazy. Uh, so, yeah, and then I have gone Bukayo Saka um, as my right winger. Uh, I've gone Sterling and Rashford. I think Rashford should be counted as the left winger, really, or the striker. But I have gone Bukayo Saka and Sterling for my right wingers. And I think Saka and Sterling can't really argue. Saka, I think he could start, potentially, um, if... If maybe I'll go onto my left winger, maybe Sterling replaces this left winger. Uh, Sterling hasn't been, he's been okay for Chelsea since he's signed, um, but otherwise, not really. Um, Rashford, again, in a way, it's like Harvey Yelly obviously missed the penalty um, in the final. Um, one of the three. Con- like not controversial um one of the three crucial missed penalties um so yeah i've gone rashford i think he could just almost like elliot i just bring some explosive pace maybe can get a long shot off and maybe score um for my left wingers i've gone foden and grealish uh, I don't, I, Grealish, you could argue, but Foden, don't even talk to me if you think Foden should not be in this England squad. He is a generational talent, like Mr. Jude Bellingham. Um, so, yeah, uh, maybe, see, this is the question down below in the comments. Does Sterling start over Foden? Um, if he does, maybe. I think Sterling could, but maybe he can't, you know? So yeah, the strikers. I think we know who one is. This is Mr. Harold Kane. He's in my squad, captain, the captain, and yeah, which really class forward. Um, and my other striker, I don't think should be much of a surprise, is Ivan Tony. Um, he has literally been on fire this season. I remember he used to play for Portsmouth. Um, only a few years back. And he has literally just absolutely had a glow up. Uh, he has been amazing. Uh, this season, uh, I think he has like eight goals and two assists, something like that. And I just really think he should be in this England squad. Um, it could be a great backup to Kane. And yeah, he is just a great striker. Um uh, I think Henderson, I really took him just for the leadership. And you know what? Maybe if like we're down in a knockout game or a group stage game, a game that we need to win, he can either be there on the pitch or off the pitch and just drive the players um, like he does for Liverpool because he's a great captain. Um, so, yeah, uh, that is my final England squad. And, yeah, um, like and subscribe. Hopefully you like the video. Uh, yeah, bye.